1950s. Here, about half the men are out of work. It is usually policed by the army. This is its shopping center. The Catholic Bally Murphy estate in Belfast. The shopping center in Belfast is different too. No one enters without being searched. In every shop inside this citadel, you're searched again. Behind these scenes is a deceptively simple conflict. In Northern Ireland, two thirds of the population are Protestant and one third Catholic. Most Protestants want to remain part of the United Kingdom most Catholics wish to be part of the rest of Ireland. This conflict erupted 12 years ago, and these streets have seen riots, burnings and deaths overlaid by the urban decay of a depressed city. This tiny province of one and a half million people, living in an area not much larger than Yorkshire, has been for over a decade in a state of civil disorder, and on occasion has faced the real threat of open civil war. This is the more familiar image of Ulster, the Orange Order to which many Protestants belong, marching to celebrate Protestant victories of the 17th century. These marches call on history to affirm today's determination to remain in the United Kingdom. As the minority within a Catholic Ireland, the Protestants have always felt beleaguered. They remember their history as siege. Others in Ireland remember history differently. Here in Carrickmore, the Catholics of Northern Ireland celebrate the Easter Rising. In 1916, a handful of Irishmen rose in armed rebellion against the British. Their history is of resistance to British rule. They're determined to break the British connection. History in these streets is one long remembered yesterday. Where there are deep, unresolved conflicts, history is called upon to justify actions and to sustain grievances. That history has witnessed war, violence and rebellion across the centuries in what the Irish call the Troubles. In the present phase of the Troubles, the British Army polices the streets in the Catholic areas and holds the line between the Catholic and Protestant communities.
but soldiers are not new to Ireland. The British army and the British influence they represent have been in Ireland for several centuries. The troubles in Northern Ireland today have their roots in the period of history that saw the British conquest of Ireland. <laughs> 